surrender are false. All orders to surrender are false. Hey everybody, welcome back to 3COG. I want to talk to you really quickly about a bad loading habit that I see a lot and uh, explain to you the reason why you shouldn't do it. I know there's a little bit of glare coming off the uh, dry erase board. Apologize for that. It's the first time using a dry erase board for a video, so i got to figure out angles, lighting, and all that kind of stuff. But, whatever. So, what I'm talking about... Oh. Don't make fun of my art. I'm a firearms instructor, not an artist, so... I get it. Not the best drawing in the world. So, what I'm talking about is when people take their... Their gun. They put a magazine in. Or, I'm sorry. They have a full magazine and they drop a single round, snap cap by the way, a single round into the chamber and then they put the slide forward on the round. Alright, so don't do that. And I'll explain why. So, what you're doing when you slam the slide forward on the back of the casing like that is your extractor, which is this hook shaped piece of metal, which on a Beretta is right there. Alright, it's your extractor slash uh, loaded chamber indicator. Uh, so, that piece is sitting on your bolt face just like that. When you slam the slide forward onto the back of the casing and you have the rim of the casing, when it slams forward onto that, what you're doing is putting a lot of pressure right here on the face of your extractor. That's not supposed to take any pressure. That's not supposed to be an impact surface. All right. When you properly load a pistol, when the round is, uh, comes out of the magazine, the way this works is that the round actually slides up in almost a T-slot or a groove on your bolt face. So it slides under the, the rim of the extractor or the lip of the extractor as opposed to being slammed into on the face of it. So what you're doing when you slam the face of it is you're actually like peening the the very tip of the extractor. So that repeated again and again and again and again hit impact, you're actually affecting the metallurgy of that piece and eventually that's going to break. If that breaks, then the weapon will not extract. If the weapon does not extract, it will not work. So that's why. Now this is not really so much a military application thing because most people in the military we have our loading procedures and we normally don't plus up one, normally. Um, this is really a common issue with carrying guns. So either carrying guns or loading up for, uh, for getting ready to shoot a match. I see it a lot at matches where people will take that, uh, that round, drop it in, slide forward and then full magazine in. The right way to do it, even though yes it takes a little bit more time, So, you take your magazine, you've got it all filled up, single round, in, rack it so that that round fed properly, magazine out, put another round into your magazine, insert, and then you'd be plussed up. By the way, this is an 18 round magazine from, uh, from Metgar, and it has worked really, really well in my Beretta. So that's it. That's the why, right? Load from the load from the magazine. Do not just drop around in, uh, so that it can slide up on your bolt face or on your on the face of your slide correctly, so it gets underneath the extractor, so that it's not slamming. Because what you're doing is you're forcing this whole extractor to move out, to get out of the way, and then come over the rim. And it's really not designed to work that way. It's designed to come from under. Now, if I had a malfunction, like a failure, failure to extract or something like that, yes, I'm going to have to run that slide forward on that casing, try to rip that casing out and get the gun back up. I understand that. The point is that the repeated, if you download your weapon every day and then you do that every single day, that you're putting a lot of impact right there on the face of that thing again and again and again. And over time, it's going to shear off. So don't do that. That being said, it's your gun, your life. Do whatever you want to. I used to do that, then I saw it explained to me about why we don't do that, and now I'm very, very careful about not doing that. Insert the mag, rack the weapon, plus up into the magazine, not into the chamber. So, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you enjoy the format of having the whiteboard. I know it's not like I explained a whole lot with it, but just some basic art to help you visualize what I'm talking about. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on 3COG.